violence and other kind of violence. What's good, Cyberspace? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Today, thousands of family, friends, and fans gathered to say goodbye to the rapper known as Takeoff. In his hometown of Atlanta, the member of the hip-hop trio Migos was shot and killed in downtown Houston last Tuesday. Adam Bennett live near where the shooting happened, and Adam Takeoff's fans in Houston have also been paying tribute. Still no arrest um, from my understanding in the takeoff matter plenty of phones camera phones plenty of witnesses okay why isn't quavo giving a statement for his fallen nephew these are questions that we all have this should have been solved solved like yesterday but the community is staying silent on this one and everybody's giving their RIPs in the comment section. That's right, Rika. Fans continue to leave memorials here at the site, right outside where it happened, as well as upstairs on the property, actually closer to the spot. Meanwhile, today, Houston's mayor and the head of Crime Stoppers tell me that police are still working tirelessly to find the shooters. On a dreary Friday in Atlanta, this funeral procession made its way downtown to State Farm Arena, where thousands of family, friends, and fans gathered to honor the life of 28-year-old Kersnick Ball, better known as Takeoff. You see the whole Atlanta out here for this man. This man is an icon. God bless this brother, man. RIP Takeoff. Very impactful. And um, <laughs> as you see, people are gathering in the city of atlanta to honor takeoff i mean this is it, it really does seem ritualistic they had the funeral in the state farm arena we saw the subliminal in imagery in the music videos there's a lot to grasp on here obviously it was a quote-unquote random event he was deleted by the people who were supposed to protect him so you have to wonder what is really going on here and why would they open up the funeral for the fans like this in this way i mean it's just weird not just for the city of atlanta but for the culture in general takeoff was shot and killed november 1st outside of a downtown houston bowling alley it happened after a private party with around 40 people so far no one has been arrested what if it was your no arrests and he's talking about what if it was your uncle, what was it, it was your brother, what was it, whatever, bro. Why don't you talk to Qu uh, Quavo? He was right there. Why can't he say something? Why can't the stars who were actually there come out and say something? If you really want justice, that's that's the next step, bro. You know, to honor your nephew, that's the next step. Your brother, what if it was, it was your son? You would want somebody to step up. Today, the head of Crime Stoppers of Houston told me law enforcement officials here are still working every tip. She's urging anyone who knows something to reach out anonymously. She go. I keep thinking of all the places that Takeoff traveled to and all the cities he visited. It pains me that Houston was the one that where he lost his life. Today, Mayor Sylvester Turner told us Houston police are making progress. Simply say I'm pleased with the direction in which the investigation is going. A vow to never stop seeking justice for the man fans say they'll never forget. Today, Police Chief Troy Fenner declined to comment on this investigation. Meanwhile, the mayor told us today that he and the chief still plan to sit down with members of Houston's hip hop community after the investigation is complete to have a conversation about the best path forward. Rekha. Yeah, take off with such a presence in that community. I know a lot of people are hoping for answers and justice in this case.
Adam, thank you. Memorial service for Migos rapper Takeoff is underway at State Farm Arena. The Gwinnett County native was shot and killed in Dallas last week, in Houston last week. Thousands of fans, family, friends. Slow down, honey. Was it Dallas or was it Houston? <laughs> ah. And entertainers have gathered to celebrate the popular artist's life. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is live at State Farm Arena talking to heartbroken fans. Deidre. Alex says that uh, celebration of live service gets underway at this hour. A steady stream of mourners continue to make their way here to State Farm Arena. A number of seats reserved here for Migos fans. This is a ticketed event. They are honoring his life and legacy. And them tickets sold out quick. They really did. I don't know if they were free or if they, but I seen the notification that they were up and then I clicked on the link and it was OV. Takeoff's life and legacy. Those we talked to say they grew up listening to his music. We've always been fans of the Migos and for Takeoff personally. Takeoff been my favorite rapper for some years. I'm not gonna lie, He's, I, I love him. Fans of the beloved <laughs> rapper began gathering up. Spit a verse then. Why ain't nobody spitting verses? I mean, we rock with Takeoff, but who really got Takeoff verses like off rip that they can just boom go to like that respectfully i'm just asking hours before the doors opened at state farm arena for today's celebration of life service latrivia sharp and her son amir were the first in line yesterday was his birthday so this is kind of bittersweet he was a big fan of takeoff and i was too the atlanta artist was shot and killed at a downtown houston bowling alley I, and i'm sorry i gotta stop it you know it's a problem when like <laughs> the mama and the son is a fan of a young rapper i mean shouldn't she be interested in other things other types of music i don't know just just a thought last week thousands of mourners will join his family friends and prominent members of the music world at the atlanta venue to celebrate the life of the beloved singer just to have lost takeoff so suddenly and in the way that he was taken from us and i'm sorry i'm not trying to harp on that sister but isn't her son a little too young to be listening to the migos hmm it was really um, tragic, so I just came to pay my respects to someone who um, I've had a lot of respect for over the years. Now, Justin Bieber is among the entertainers uh, expected to attend today's service. This is a closed event, media not invited inside, and it is not being live streamed. At State Farm Arena, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Okay, Deidre, thank you. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. Millions continue to mourn the tragic loss of Atlanta rapper Takeoff. The 28-year-old was gunned down at a bowling alley in Texas last week. Yeah, the Gwinnett County native skyrocketed to fame with his relatives in the music group Migos. And Takeoff was known as one of the most influential names in modern music, whose mm. creativity helped shape modern hip-hop today. And today, thousands of people will pack inside State Farm Arena in just a few hours to celebrate his life. Good Day's Brooke Zahner is live in downtown with more on this and Brooke, it's gonna be a sad time. There's gonna be so many people, a lot of emotion there. Yeah, absolutely, it certainly is, not just for family and friends, but a lot of fans uh, who this is really resonating with. And the doors open here at State Farm Arena at about six hours at 11 o'clock. You are encouraged if you have tickets to get here early. Family, friends, fans, prominent members of the music community are all expected to be here to remember and honor the life of Takeoff. I mean, it, like I said, it really just is a weird sequence of events no arrests have been made again community speak up for your for your slain brethren you are your brother's keeper it's a huge issue 
Thousands of mourners will pay respects to fallen rapper Takeoff today. State Farm Arena will host the event that's already at capacity. It's expected to bring out prominent members of the music world, including a performance from Justin Bieber, who has collaborated with Migos in the past. He was a staple of uh of Atlanta culture as well as hip hop, you know, being part of one of the greatest hip hop groups of all time. The news of Takeoff's death has rocked the music industry, many paying their respects on social media, including Atlanta native and rapper T.I. It's a huge loss for the city, it's a huge loss for hip hop as a whole. But, you know, together collectively, we'll get through it. Others like D. But, you know, together collectively, we'll get through it. Bro, what? That's it. Uh, you know, uh, we'll get through it. None of no big words. No, you know, <laughs> grandiose statements. Just uh, well, you know, together we'll get through it. I mean, it's got. DJ like, Drama Migos, remember takeoff for of his humility. The Gwinnett-based Migos rap trio recently collaborated with DJ Drama. We set the trends, trends, bringing it in. She was one of the most humble down to earth, um, you know, mind in his business, stayed out of the way, you know, guys that you'll ever meet that, you know, especially within within this industry that is so boisterous, so aggressive, so arrogant at times. Those who knew Takeoff best say it's only fitting he be celebrated in his own city and at State Farm Arena, where Takeoff not only performed, but also came out as a fan to watch the Atlanta Hawks. Because legends never die as long as they legacy live on through what they were able to produce. So this is a sold out event today. So it's more important that his legacy lives on than his actual body and spirit and mind. Takeoff could have lived to 80 years old. I mean, he could have established generational wealth for his children or had children, whatever, like y'all. And that's, that's the statement. Oh, well, you know, we'll get through it as a community and at least his legacy will live on. We gonna be playing his music for a week and then do it look like I got left out bad and bougie? Today, if you are, uh, don't have tickets to this event, you're actually being encouraged to not gather downtown. It's already gonna be uh, very packed with everybody that's gonna be here for this celebration of life. If you do have tickets though, you are encouraged to get here early. Again, the doors open at 11 o'clock this morning. That's the latest here in downtown Atlanta. I'm Brooks Honor for Good Day Atlanta. All right, Brooke, thank you so much going on today. And here are some important reminders about the ceremony. Again, that starts at noon. Doors at State Farm Arena, as Brooke said, will open at 11. No photos, no videos, so all devices will be checked in when you enter. There is free parking in the Ruby lot. No gifts or items can be left at or near the venue, so don't do that. And family asks that you instead donate to the Rocket Foundation, which supports community-based programs to prevent gun violence. Gang violence and other kind of violence.